after the following trinomial, then check it. So what we're going to do here is we need a middle term. Well, two factors when added together equal negative 3. And then when multiplied equal negative 18. So it looks like 6 and negative 3 are going to be our result. Actually, negative 6 and positive 3. <laughs> All right, so this is equal to negative 18. Then negative 6 plus 3 is equal to negative 3. So let's check this out. We'll have x minus 6y and then x plus 3y. So then this gives us x squared plus 3xy minus 6xy minus 18y squared. Combine like terms, x squared minus 3xy minus 18y squared. And because this matches up with our original trinomial, that means that this factorization here is correct. Okay, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.